Welcome back to my kitchen. I am starting seeds for the spring 2021 season. So if you want to start seeds with me, you're going to need something to put the soil in. My dog is running around the kitchen. That's the extra noise. Um, something to put the soil and the seeds in. I've got a bag of potty mix. Um, I don't necessarily endorse this brand. I have used it several times. Um, it's great. Um, the seed trays are good to have um, to move the seeds around in case you need to look for better sunlight or you have some other reason you need to temporarily move all the seeds without having to move these individually. Plus, as you can see from the bottom here, the water will leak out. Um, so you need somewhere for the water to catch. And the water leaks out so that the seeds aren't oversaturated and drowned. What else will you need? You'll need your seeds. Um, I have mine in these little plastic bags. I've labeled them. The reason why they're in these bags now, if you can see here, if you can see that. The reason why they're in these bags now is because they originally came in bags like this, right? That you get from your local box store you order online. But after I use them, I don't use them all in one season. So after I use them, I end up folding them down. And sometimes the fold doesn't stick all the way and the seeds come all out. So I went on Amazon and I bought these little baggies, um, which hold the seeds perfectly. And you can write on them with a Sharpie. Another thing you'll need is a label. So this is one of the label type tabs I use. Again, I write on this with a Sharpie. You see that? Um, I'm running out of these. These are old. So I'm reusing some that I already had some names on like, like cayenne, right? The newest bag I have, again, Amazon. Um, if you can buy locally, that's, that's an option as well, right? Um, the newest bag I have is just little plastic things. I'm gonna write the labels on there. You're gonna need your Sharpie. And I think that's about all you need for supplies. So let's get going. Okay, so you've got all your supplies ready. I'm gonna break these apart because they're easier to fit into the soil bag. Like that. They just break apart. Stick your hands in here and get dirty. So I'm scooping it in. I'm patting it down. Shaking off the excess from the top. You don't wanna fill it up too high because you still need to have room to actually put the seed in, depending on the size of the seed, how many seeds you put in. I'd rather backfill it, if that makes sense. So, mine are filled almost to the brim, about there, okay? So I'm gonna do several of these because I'm not sure how many seeds I'm doing. And if I have excess dirt, I'll just put it back in the bag. So, shaking off. Again, looks like this. I hope you guys are excited for the season. I am getting cabin fever being in the house too long. I'm looking forward to being outside in the sun, in the soil, letting the chickens run around, kids run around too. It's a dreary day out today. Uh, so, oh, I'm starting seeds a little late. All right, I was supposed to do it last weekend. Life, uh, so here we are, but can't wait too long because the weather doesn't wait for you, all right? The season change doesn't wait for you, so I have to do it now. I'm gonna do about, I think I'm gonna fill this tray up. Okay, so I've got one tray filled up. If I need to make another tray, I can. i show what one full tray looks like. Like that, all right? And sometimes these are kind of thin. As you can see, it, it wobbles a little bit. So I usually have them doubled or tripled, depending on how thin it is. So doubling it, it's not a big waste, but they can crack. So I'd rather it be doubled and not falling apart. Um, and I just lose an extra tray. All right, so again, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put the soil away. And I kept this soil from last season. That's why the bag is half empty. Um, let's roll it up and put it out the way. All right, so, all righty. I'm gonna start with my peppers, I believe. So you can see, oh, storage uh, seed organization. This is new to me this year. I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna try to bring it on camera. Got this at one of the local tool uh, supply stores, okay? So I guess you're supposed to put screws and nails and all sorts of stuff in there but it works out really good for my seeds. So these are not all of my seeds, but these are 
a lot of them. So if you can see how I've got the C's organized here. I didn't put a label on it, but I know these start with a B, these start with a C, and so on and so forth. And then I've got corn in the bottom here because the seeds are too large to put in those in these little tiny bags. So I'm keeping them in there. But yeah, I've got them organized and this is so far just feels good. Okay. So so I took out the ones that I want to start. Of course you got your seeds that you start. You got your seeds that you direct sow out in the sun when it gets warmer, like in April, because I'm in zone 7B. So I'm just right now focusing on all the seeds I'm going to start in the house and put under my grow light. So again, I'm going to start with my YOLO Wonder Pepper. So, alrighty. So it's just a lot of picking what you want. This needs more soil. It's a lot of picking what you want to start with. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start with my YOLO Wonder Pepper. Depth, right? Everyone usually asks, well, how deep do I plant the seed? Eh. Uh, I don't have the perfect answer for you. I usually put two to three seeds on top of the soil in each little round, right? Uh, let me go with two because these germinate pretty well. All right, so I put two to three on top and then I push my finger down a little bit. So just watch how much I push. Maybe I push that seed down in there too. And then I'll cover it up with soil. So I think I that far down, can you see? It's just less than that first little finger joint, a little bit less than that, I just push it down um, gently. So I'm gonna plant two of these YOLO Wonder Peppers. And push it down a little bit, push it down, cover it up with soil. And remember I said I backfill. So it might be about the depth of one of these finger joints by the time I fill it up with soil again. Okay, so I'm going to keep going with that same kind of pattern of putting two, three seeds in each little cell, pushing them down a little bit and labeling them until I fill up the whole tray. And then we'll come back and see what it all looks like. So I wanted to add that in the beginning, I was placing the seeds on the soil and pushing them down. Um, what I find myself doing more often is using my pinky finger to make the hole first. Still same about uh, first joint down. And then I put two to three seeds in my hand. You know, it's one of those things where <laughs> you just kind of do it automatically. When I think about it, it, it changes, but when you're just kind of doing it, I realized that I'd actually do it differently. But I think it also depends on the size of the seed. For example, these tomato seeds are really, really small. And I don't like the idea of pushing them down because I think I might crush them somehow. So anyway, I make the seed with my pinky finger, the hole with my pinky finger. And then I pick up the seeds and I drop them in. Then I cover it back up. That seems to be something that I do more regularly. So I wanted to add that. Um, right now I'm still I'm working on my tomatoes now I'm on to Rutgers those are pretty good tomatoes so far I've done Rutgers purple Russian gold nugget that's what we got so far so we're back I've done my tray it's not completely full it's mostly full there are some spots I just didn't need uh, I might go back and fill them up later we'll see uh, so right now I've got tomatoes mostly in here this uh, six cell tray is mostly peppers. This one are, well, hot peppers. This one's mostly bell peppers. Some more tomatoes. I've got two eggplants here. There's nothing in the four that are also in the eggplant tray. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna put in there, if anything. Some peppers, oh, okay. So the rest of these down here are herbs. I don't grow her herbs very well. If anyone has any advice on how to grow them better, I'm not sure it's my coffee maker, sorry. I'm not very good at growing herbs. Um, I've had some success with pennyroyal, mint. I can grow any kind of mint. But what I've got in here, oh, and dill. But what I've got in here are basil. I've got chamomile, cilantro, yarrow, valerian, pennyroyal, rosemary, rue. Did I say yarrow already? Uh, dill, licorice, and lavender. So wish me luck with the herbs. I tend to do much better with vegetables. But we're gonna see what happens this year. All of these seeds I've purchased in the past, so they're they're not new. 
So fingers crossed with the germination rate. Um, I've done one to two of each as a backup. Uh, some of them, you know, life happens. Some seeds don't germinate or when you take them out into the yard, something might eat it. So if I have six bell pepper plants and one plant gets eaten, I've still got some bell peppers for the year. Uh, I really like the pineapple tomatoes just because they're pretty. So I think I planted two of those, again, just in case something gets eaten. But, you know, the animals like what we eat. I have some good fencing out there, but something usually gets through. A deer might jump over a weak spot. Something might burrow under something. I try to be diligent and check the garden regularly, but life happens, right? So try to have a backup. But I think that's it. So, oh, okay. So now I have to show the backfill method that I spoke of previously. So I'm going to bring my soil back out. So as I move the soil around, it kind of compacted a little bit. So I just want to make sure that all of the cells have the right amount of soil in it. So I'm just going to take a handful. If you can see, anyway, let me turn it maybe this way. Some of these aren't completely filled, right? Oh, you know what? I've got extra soil here. I don't actually need these. So I'm going to use this, this one that's empty, as kind of my backfill. So that's messy. I won't do it that way. Let me dump these out because I don't need these for now. If I decide that there's something else that I want to start before the season gets going, I've got more space, I've got more trays, I've got more cells. All right, so backfill. It's not... The neatest thing to do but I'm just filling it back up I know some of the herbs like to be the seeds are supposed to be on top of the soil so I'm not going to do all the herbs like that at least that's what they say again I'm not very good with herbs so if anyone has any herb growing tips let me know all right let's see Yarrow's on top. Eggplant looks good. Cayenne needs more soil. Right there. This is a big clump of soil I'm going to break up. And that looks pretty good to me. Yep. Looking good. Happy, happy. Okay, so now I put some water on it, then I'm going to put it under the grow light. Cups, what cup do I use? I'm just going to use a cup with some water. A little messy, but here we are. I don't know where my pitcher is, but for the sake of the video, it's water. So I'm just getting them a good little soak. I'm using my fingers to kind of disperse the water so it doesn't hit so hard. Like a sprinkler. Especially for the some of the seeds. You know, they're just getting started, so I don't want to disturb them too much. I don't want too much water in each cell. I just need them damp so they'll start doing their thing. As, this, as the seeds begin to sprout, I can be a little bit less cautious with the way that I water them because I'm not worrying about disturbing the seeds themselves. So this is the way that I start my seeds. If you guys have any advice or suggestions, uh, improvements I could make, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd be glad to hear the way that you start yours. If you have any questions, again, I'm not an expert. This is just the way that I do mine. If you have any questions, I will answer to the best of my ability. A little bit more, and we'll be done. Water, water, water. And then I'm gonna find a nice spot in the house and set up my grow light again. I got my grow light off Amazon as well. You'll see that in just a bit. All right, everything looks well separated. 
There we go. And again, with this tray, if there's any excess water, see, look, it's already running out. Can you see it there? That's the excess water. Can you see that? Maybe not. There's water in the bottom there. Ah! There's water down there. Um, so that keeps the seeds from getting extra waterlogged. All right, next thing will be to set up the grow light and then we'll be done. Okay, so now we're in my dining room and I've got the plant seedling set up with the grow light here. It's pretty straightforward. Seedlings, grow lights. This is what the lights look like underneath. I got this off Amazon. Again, um, this one has a little clip. It's currently clipped on to this Tupperware container where I keep seeds and other garden knickknacks. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to have it set. I'm probably going to turn off the light for now because I am getting some sunlight through the window. I'm going to have it set on a timer where it comes on maybe late evening to add up to the hours of sunlight that the seedlings are supposed to get. Um, and that's it. So in the future, I'll show you more videos of the seeds germinating and eventually when I transplant them outside. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.